So is this basically conceding to Nelson Peltz? I mean, you were right all along. I, yes, at first they said just, you know, they have a good plan, we're going to leave you alone. Then they said, oh, well, the stock went down more, maybe we're not going to leave you alone. And now I think they're forcing their hand. And also another uh, board member was leaving, so the timing worked. But the stock's been terrible. Well, I was going to say, since we have the new CEO, I mean, and everyone was expecting that would really push it up, did for a couple of days, but now it's really come down. It's really not had great performance. It's down, before ye yesterday, it's down 15% since, he, since the little bounce we got when, uh, John Flannery was announced. I think there was first euphoria, a change of guard, and then they realized this is a $115 billion company. You can't turn it around like that. It's going to be multiple years to probably get this thing, re well, it's already been very restructured, but uh, to turn the cash flow and other things around. What's the importance of Nelson Peltz actually getting a director in the boardroom? Because he's had this plan open for some time. He's gone over it with Jeff Immelt, mm -hmm. the former CEO. And things like that. It's not like it's a secret. So does that make a real difference to actually have somebody in the room enforcing it? It's one, it's, it's one vote at the end of the day, but yeah, they can put more pressure. Look at, look at Dow, look at DuPont, who would have ever, ever thought. I mean, there's big things do happen in that room, and you know, he can say, look, what you guys have done has not really worked. So I think there could be, there could be some forced change. Karen, before we before you let you go, uh, broaden it out for us in terms of what we saw from Honeywell today as well. Sort of the streamline, the trimming down, the spin-offs in the industrial sector. When if you talk about a synchronized global growth, you wouldn't think that would be the story. Uh, there's a simplification um, trend going on in industrials right now, and I guess you know in that in industry in particular, people want slimmer, more focused companies. You know, conglomerates go in, conglomerates go out. They used to get premiums, they now get discounts. So um, people, investors want less businesses, and so um, Honeywell had talked about uh, going from eight to four or five. They actually went to six. Honeywell, uh, GE's got seven businesses distinct businesses and there's just a push to divest and shed some businesses and focus on fewer things.